Hey everybody, uh, this is my trailer, just picked up some wood. Uh, it's a lot of fun doing when you're by yourself and you're mainly in a wheelchair, but I managed to get it done. But I noticed that I have a screw coming out. This is a bracket I use, pins to pull off to pull off the side, and I noticed the screw's coming out here. Alright, if you look on this side, alright, the wood is cracked, and that's why it's coming out. So we're going to use Gorilla Glue, alright, uh, to actually fix this rather than replacing the whole thing. Uh, which I really don't feel like doing and probably don't have the time to do. So uh, first thing you want to do, and I'm, I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this hole up, take the screw out, fill the hole up, try to squeeze some inside um, the crack all the way across. I'm not worried if it drips at all. We're outside. It, it is, believe it or not, environmentally safe. So uh, not, not worried about it at all. I can just pick it up. But we want to probably spread this a little bit more without cracking anything else to squeeze some in there. Uh, so it'll grab and it's going to actually expand and hold it all together. Now what I did is I used a flathead screwdriver to spread this a little bit to get it in there. I may actually get something to, to force it in there and stay in um, while it's uh, curing. I did push uh, Gorilla Glue in, the, in that hole to where it came out on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is take my screw and go in on this side and screw it all the way in. And using a, a Phillips head to actually screw it all the way in and make it kind of snug. And it's good that it's snug because what's going to happen is that Gorilla Glue is going to actually expand in there and hug that thing, and it's not coming back out. But I might get something just to, because I'm that kind of guy, you know, I'm cosmetic or whatever. But try to try to stop as much of it from dripping out as possible. So I'm going to just keep it in there. We'll take a look at it after it's done. Now I just use regular old masking tape. To tape it to help uh, keep it in place. All right, so uh, I'm going to leave this for probably 24 hours. So, uh, you know, about three, four hours, it should do just fine. It's going to start hardening up, but it kind of gets to a rock hard, um, permanent um, texture uh, in about 24 hours. And I, I tell you what, if it can hold a chainsaw together like I did on another video, I'll, I'll do my best to remember to link it. Uh, put a link down below about that one. It can, it can hold a, the bolt for a uh, the bar on a chainsaw in place strong enough to do that and I'm going to use it to cut all these up I've done a lot of work with this since last year when I uh, made that video uh, I mean this is going to hold a screw into place in a piece of wood well everybody has been uh, two days actually because we had all day rain you can see uh, the gorilla glue in there and down inside here it's inside there too, so it actually uh, spread all over the place. So I think that screw is very well in, in spots. So let's take some of this off and see what we have. Um, look at that. Did that fill in that crack nicely? Wow. I don't even know if I can get the rest of the tape off. Um, see what we got. There we go. That filled in that, that crack nicely all the way around. I mean, it, it, it filled it in and a little bit above. So uh, it worked out really nice as beats uh, changing out a 2x4 or 1x4, whatever this thing is. Uh, and that would be the whole line all the way down. And uh, I'll probably have to do it someplace else, but uh, that should help you out and saving you some money and uh, some time. A little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue goes well, and that screw is not budging at all. Uh, don't think it'll protrude uh, through the thing but that screw is not going anywhere and that uh, I'm moving this around moving this around it's in there so hey you see a lot more videos coming up uh, it's almost never ending subscribe now bye